Hi everyone, it's Katrina. From bees the size of birds to spiders that look like rabbits, here are 10 of the most surreal animals that actually exist. Number 10. Megachile Pluto No, giant bees aren't something out of a bee movie. They are real and were actually thought to be extinct. Surprise! They aren't. Found on a group of Indonesian islands, these bees are also called flying bulldogs. You might actually confuse it for a bird. It was first discovered in 1858 by British naturalist Alfred Russell Wallace, hence its common name, Wallace's Giant Bee. Mega Chile Pluto is four times larger than a European honeybee, making it the world's largest bee. Normally found in the lowland forest and in tree-dwelling termite nests, they were thought to be extinct until being rediscovered in 2019. They hadn't been seen since the 1980s, most likely due to mining and deforestation. A group of conservationists found the bee after spending five days trekking through the forest. The large, black, wasp-like insect has immense jaws like a stag beetle, with the females measuring in at one and a half inches, or about as big as a human thumb, and a wingspan of two and a half inches. They use their huge jaws like salad tongs to carry resin back to their nest which keeps the termites out. Although it was quite the adventure to locate the species, the team found it in a remote area. Hopefully its elusive nature will help protect the species and ensure its survival for the future. Number 9. Rainbow Colored Squirrel There are almost 300 species of squirrels in the world, but most of us have only probably seen brown or gray squirrels, maybe the occasional red. But did you know that there is actually a rainbow squirrel? In the case of the Malabar giant squirrel, you will most definitely do a double take if you happen to come across one of these. Found deep in the forests of India, these squirrels are much larger than your average squirrel, measuring up to three feet long. That's a little disconcerting. But their unique coloring, panda-like ears, and bands of multicolored fur make them look like they have just jumped out of the pages of a fantasy novel. Even in pictures, they don't look real. With purple, indigo, and orange coloring, researchers believe they have adapted this shading to confuse predators or to attract mates with their vibrant shades, almost like brightly colored birds. Up until 20 years ago, the Malabar giant squirrel was listed as a vulnerable species in the forests of the Indian Peninsula. Luckily, they have made a comeback and continue to frolic high in the trees, far away from predators. But luckily, close enough for eagle-eyed photographers to snap a few photos to share with nature lovers around the world. Number 8. Rabbit Spider At first glance, this looks like anything but a spider. Is this even real? Why yes, yes it is. It is actually a very small spider that belongs to the Daddy Longlegs family, officially known as a bunny harvestman spider. To me, it almost looks more like it has a wolf on its back, a scary one. It has a dark body and false yellow eyes along with the two protrusions that look like ears or horns. If you look closely, you can see its real eyes are further down. Scientist Andreas K. found this guy in the Amazon rainforest in Ecuador in July 2017. The dots and the ridges that rise from their body resemble bunny ears. I don't know, what do you think? Does it look like a bunny to you or a wolf? It was first described in writings and drawings from a German arachnid specialist named Carl Friedrich Rauver in 1959. Andreas K. proposed the theory that this arachnid may have developed the bizarre growths as a way to make itself appear larger than it really is. But to be honest, scientists aren't exactly sure. It's only about the size of a thumb and like other daddy long legs, does not have venom glands, so it poses no threat to humans. This creature has not been studied very much, but it is definitely a good sign that there will be other amazing critters out there to discover. Number 7. Albino Turtle While this might sound kind of ghostly and weird, albino turtles do exist, but they are anything but dull. Though different species of turtles have different chances of being born with the albinism gene, each has a distinctive look. Some are more yellowish with orange markings while others are pink and fiery red. Albinism in turtles, lizards, and other reptiles presents differently than it does in mammals, birds, and humans, for example. Instead of having no coloring, reptiles tend to have one pigment left in their skin, which is what gives them their red, orange, pink, or yellow shades. One particular species, the albino painted wood turtle, is found on the west coast of Mexico and in Central America. It is one of the rarest morphs in the world, with bright red and yellow markings on its shell and head. One of the main problems for most albino animals is the effect it has on their eyesight. Turtles are no different. Their vision is often impaired, which makes it more difficult for them to find food. It also makes them an easier target because they're unable to spot predators before becoming their victims. 
Because of this, some albino reptiles don't make it past childhood. They just stand out too much. Number 6. Lagoon Blob Like something right out of a sci-fi movie, this blob from the lagoon looks like a brain. Found in an artificial lagoon in a Canadian park in Vancouver, this mass isn't actually an it, but a they. Even creepier, right? The really cool thing about this life form is that it is actually more than one creature. It is a collection of smaller creatures known as a magnificent bryozoan that form a brain-shaped mass that can be larger than a human head. Also known as moss animals, they are an ancient group of filter feeders. The blob starts off as a single invertebrate that produces clones of itself until it basically creates its own family of minions that float on freshwater reservoirs, filtering out plankton. They glue themselves together to form various shapes including sheets, columns, and branched structures that look like trees. Strangely, organisms such as this don't belong in Canada's Pacific Northwest. They are usually found east of the Mississippi River. Fossil records show ancient marine bryozoans living as far back as 470 million years ago. This particular blob is believed to have been carried by flying ducks or possibly even the breeze, making it a true spectacle discovered north of the border. Number 5. Blue Lobster while most lobsters are a dull greenish-brown color, fishermen in the Canadian province of Nova Scotia were stunned when they caught two bright blue lobsters while working off the coast. See, there's a lot more going on in Canada than you thought. Considered a sign of good luck amongst the region's fishermen, the probability of capturing such a creature is rare, with a 1 in 2 million chance of such a catch. The strangely colored lobsters look that way due to a genetic mutation that causes them to produce more protein than others. Even though European lobsters have more of a bluish hue, these are bright and vibrant. But this isn't the first time such a rarity was found. In the summer of 2012, a fishing boat captured a blue lobster off the coast of Maryland. Nicknamed Toby, the lobster was not thrown back but saved and later displayed at the National Aquarium in Washington, D.C. Over time, other unique lobsters have been caught in the oceans of the world, including yellow lobsters, calico lobsters, and the albino lobster. There are also cotton candy-colored lobsters that are pink and pale blue. They are considered the rarest of the rare, with about one for every 100 million. Number 4. Pyrosomes this giant worm-like creature can grow up to 60 feet long. But what is it? Known as a pelagic sea squirt, the delicate yet creepy pyrosomes are actually a collection of thousands of clones that can copy themselves and add to the colony in the same way the lagoon blob does. If they are injured, they can clone more of themselves and keep on going, making them practically immortal. Physically connected by sharing tissues, pyrosome colonies are shaped like a giant tube with a point on one end. The other end has an opening that can sometimes stretch up to six feet wide. Described as gelatinous, they move in unison as one jelly-like body and can also glow on top of everything else. They have bioluminescent qualities that allow them to emit light. Remarkably, when one colony lights up, it can inspire other nearby colonies to do so as well in an underwater display of communication. Who knows what they're saying? They eat plankton and filter the water into the hollow interior of the colony, which propels them forward. With no teeth or tentacles, they in theory pose no harm to other species. But actually, since they are so big, one actually swallowed an entire penguin in front of horrified onlookers. But with not much known about them, these underwater unicorns remain a mystery to most scientists. Number 3. Orchid Mantis one look at the orchid mantis and you will see how this insect gets its name. A startling resemblance to the orchid flower, this mantis is found in tropical forests of Southeast Asia. One of few mantises that imitate flowers, these don't usually choose flowers as their hunting grounds. Their flower-like appearance allows them to hide in plain sight, seeking out patches of green vegetation for ample space to tempt their prey. The females of the species are the ones who display petal-like feet and can even change their color to mimic the vegetation around them, making them even more tempting to unsuspecting insects. Their legs have special lobes that resemble flower petals from the front, with colored accents that can be pink, orange, brown, or green. If you look at them from below, they look just like a regular mantis. Mostly found in Myanmar, Indonesia, Thailand, and Malaysia, they are carnivorous insects that like to feed on fruit flies, bees, crickets, lizards, and even larger animals like turtles, frogs, and birds. They are also a part of a larger flower mantis family that also mimic other local plants. 
The devil's mantis looks like a crumpled leaf, while the spiny flower mantis has an entirely white body with a large green eye spot that allows it to blend in with other flowers. Able to both walk and fly, these insects have adapted to their surroundings in such a way that they can blend in easily, but don't be fooled by their beautiful appearance. They can be quite aggressive, and like I mentioned, they can take down animals much larger than themselves, like a lizard or a bird. In comparison, this would be like a human grabbing a grizzly bear and ripping it apart. The females will also eat the males as a snack after mating, or if they are just plain hungry. It happens. Number 2. Giant Isopods One look at the giant isopod and you might swear you're staring an alien in the face. A type of crustacean, these sea-bottom dwellers live between 550 and 7,000 feet deep. Preferring a mud or clay floor, they like to burrow for shelter, and are often found in the Pacific Ocean off Japan and in the South China Sea. They can also get pretty big. Typically measuring between 7.5 and 14 inches, some can even grow up to 2.5 feet long. This gigantic size is believed to help the creature withstand the extreme pressure found in their deep ocean homes. Its shell consists of overlapping brown or pale lilac segments. With four sets of jaws to cut and tear prey, they use their two sets of antenna to sense either chemically or physically. They are scavengers eating pretty much anything that falls from above, even in one case an entire alligator. Researchers had tossed one from above so they could record it on camera. These creatures are pretty tough and can actually go years without eating. A researcher taking care of several isopods tried to feed them every day, but they eat about two to ten times per year. That's patience right there. As they grow, they shed their exoskeleton, molting until they reach adulthood. But don't let their alien-like appearance fool you. Although they tend to bite, they also curl up into a ball when threatened, just like their cousin, the pill bug. A two and a half foot long pill bug. Number one, white whales. You might be familiar with the infamous whale in Herman Melville's Moby Dick, but white whales aren't just from fiction. One of the smallest whale species, the beluga, is naturally white, so it is hard to confuse them with other species. However, other species of whale that are much more common are very rarely white. That's why a white whale is a metaphor, because they don't really exist, at least very often. In 1991, a rare white humpback whale nicknamed Migaloo was spotted around the Great Barrier Reef. Scientists believe Migaloo, whose name means white fella in the Aboriginal language, was between three and five years of age when first spotted. At that time, he was the only known white whale in the world. That's how rare they are. He is almost completely white with brown eyes and scientists don't really consider him to be a true albino, but rather hypopigmented or leucistic, which refers to a partial loss of pigmentation. He is protected under Australian law, but he has even been given extra protection since he is so unique. Any ship within 500 meters of the white whale will be fined 16,500 Australian dollars. Currently, there are only three to four other known white whales besides Migaloo, a white whale named Baloo, and a calf spotted in 2011 that was named Migaloo Jr. In 2019, a whale watching guide struck gold when he spotted a rare albino gray whale off of Baja California, Mexico. Nicknamed Milk Gallon because of her dazzling white color, she had first been seen during the 2008-2009 whale observation season. In 2016, she was spotted with a calf of her own, which was quite a nice sight to see. Gray whales are highly endangered, and scientists are careful to monitor their numbers. It is believed that Milk Gallon is an albino and most likely has an acute sensitivity to sunshine and is less able to absorb heat in cold waters. However, her large size probably protects her from predators. Gray whales can be up to 50 feet long and weigh 40 tons. If you are ever able to see one of these whales in real life, count yourself lucky as they are one of nature's rarest treasures. Thanks for watching! Let me know if you'd like to see more videos like these in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. See you later! Bye!